Okay, so now we've done our warm-up, we're going to just go over a couple of things we did last week. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to kick and trap or get touch on the ball. So let's just remind ourselves from last week, I've got a partner this week, so I've got someone to kick the ball. We've got Kai down here. I'm going to start behind the ball, step next to the ball, lower my body weight, kick to my partner. They have to trap, get control of the ball first. So a straight kick today to start with. And he kicks back. Trap, hits the cone, and back. Okay, now once you've done a couple of straight line kicks, I know you might not have a partner, so you really only do this one this week with a partner. You can do it without a partner, but you're going to do a lot of chasing the ball. What I want you to do is I want you to pass to your partner who is leading for the ball. Now, the aim is to kick it into the space in front of them. We've got to think the ball's going to take a second or two to get to them. So I need to aim in front of them so they don't have to stop or it's not going to go behind them. It also depends on how fast they're running. So we're here like this now. If I want the ball out here, I'm going to tell my partner where I want it and he's hopefully going to kick it out in front of me. I'm going to trap and then kick it back. So if you don't have a partner, just use an imaginary hat, kick it out in front of that. You're obviously going to have to go and chase the ball. So if you can get a space that stops the ball rolling away, a fence behind it, a lot easier. So I want the ball out here. He's going to kick it out and I'm going to trap. I'm going to turn around and kick out in front of him too far <laughs> and I've actually put it too far. So my kick was too far in front and too fast. We'll try again out in front and trap and I'm going to do the same thing kicking back out. I'll just move down here so you can see it and back. So I want you moving to space, kicking the ball. Now once you kick the ball, what are you going to do? Are you going to stand still or are you going to find space? Once you've done it in a line, I then want you to do with your partner is I want you to move around, finding space. So once again, I'll go here. He'll go to space, but I can go anywhere I like now. I might go over here, kicking to space. And trap, kick it out in front to space, moving around. So kick move find space don't kick and stand kick and move to find space once you've kicked your partner in a straight line out in front and you've kicked finding space if you can find a third person this is where a really handy dog comes in handy i've got a dog that's too old won't do it get your partner play pig in the middle so a person in the middle has to try and get the ball just bring it in here kai so let's assume Kai here is the pig in the middle. Come in Kai a bit into shot and pretend I've got someone over there. You're going to try and keep it off that person. So the only way to do it is for your partner to move so the pig, which is Kai, doesn't get the ball. If the pig does get the ball, you know what the deal is. Swap over, person who loses it becomes a pig. Great game if you can get mum and dad playing as well. Get them going with the heartbeat up. All right. Now, to finish off your lesson this week, this is all in one hit. You've passed the ball in a straight line. You've passed the ball to a moving target out in front. You've hopefully been able to play a game of pig in the middle. The last thing you're going to do is just some goal kicking practice, trying to kick the ball a bit harder. So, I'm going to play against Kai here. We will start and put our hats down out here. All right, so to finish off, we're going to kick at a goal. I want you having some goal kicking practice. So you're going to kick it a bit harder. Once again, hand if you've got a second person. I've got the ball right back here. I've got two hats down there. I'm going to start a bit further behind the ball now, and I'm going to come in and try and kick the ball a bit harder. So I'm going to play a competition against Kai here. Best out of three, okay? Who can get it through? If you really want to do this, have some fun with this, then you can, he's just behind the goals. You can put person as a goalie in front of the goals to see if you can score. So let's see if I can get three. Here we go. Whoa, hit the post. What do you reckon, Kai? No go. So I'm none out of one. He'll move the hat back, kick the ball back to me. I reckon I'm going to beat him. He keeps kicking with his toe. Oh, that's a pretty inaccurate. Here we go. We'll do it too, just so you get the idea. 
And I've got one out of two. His turn, up he comes. Up you come, and I'm going to give him this. Let's see who wins. Oh, yes, he's got it through and he's got it at height. Right, I'm going to goal keep this one. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> you know, it took my head off and it went through as well. So, Kai wins, two out of two. Have a go with some of that at home. Have fun. We'll see you guys three to six in a couple of weeks.